So you know how you'll design something and then you may reach out to a friend to ask them for their interpretation of your design? Well, today I'm going to show you why you may no longer need friends. Hey guys, I'm Izzy from Flux. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know, when you're designing, oftentimes you think, okay, I want the user to see this element first. I want them to see this one second. I want this one to be prominent to whatever degree. And that's great and all, but are people who are not you actually seeing these elements in the sequence that you have in mind? Um, and the reason why this is important is because if they're not, um, then they may not take action, right? Uh, and so this is by basically called visual hierarchy, by the way. And um, there are a few ways of checking visual hierarchy, three that I'm aware of at least. Uh, and today I'll be showing you the fourth. But, uh, but the three ways, the three most common ways are, first one is the squint test. Um, and just as the name suggests, you squint your eyes, it blurs your vision, and so allows you to see a, the, a bigger picture of your, uh, your design, your composition. It kind of gets rid of all the details, allows you to decipher um, the visual hierarchy that way. And then if you're too lazy to uh, squint your eyes, if that's a little too much work for you, then you can just add a blur layer on top of your design. And it basically has the same effect. It allows you to see the bigger picture, washes out all the details, and uh, yeah. Third one, my personal favorite, is asking a friend or a family member. Um, so tell them to come on over and ask them to basically tell you the order in which they are noticing elements. Um, and this is an invaluable method in my opinion. But if you're like me and you don't have any friends, um, then there is a fourth method, uh, which I'm about to share with you. So let's jump into that. This is a tool called uh, VAS, Visual Attention Software by 3M. And as it says here in their subheading, it basically allows you to predict what viewers will see at first glance with a 92% accuracy, right? So you can see what your audience sees. Um, and by the way, that first glance period that they're talking about, I did my reading, is around three to five seconds. So basically what this tool is gonna be able to tell you is how users will interpret your design within you know, that first three to five seconds of them um, seeing it, right? And this intrigued uh, the crap out of me because, um, well, it just intrigued the crap out of me and I, I had to share it. I wanna give it a shot and I'll show you. We're gonna give this a shot with this before and after this is a this is from the redesign series that we do on Instagram on stories. So this is a this was a Toronto cupcake um, e-commerce uh, website. This is the before evidently, and then the after that we came up with. And I, I'm really uh, I really want to show you guys how um, this tool interprets both of these designs and how informative it actually is. So. Let's, uh, let me log into, I'll log into VAS, I'll upload these two designs, and we'll go through the results together. Once you log in, uh, you'll, you'll get to this dashboard here. As you can see, we have the two images already uploaded, the before and after. And all you really gotta do, click on it, analyze, and you actually get a bunch of options here. So this isn't only applicable to web design, uh, but also print, packaging, uh, email. Uh, so this is very versatile, but obviously we're gonna go the web page route. And we're going to have, you know, have a look at the design, pause it for a sec if you wanna have a look before we analyze. And we're gonna click on analyze. Okay. And so we're greeted with five tabs, okay? Areas of interest, heat map, uh, hot spots, gay sequence, and visual elements. Okay, so let's look at the, let's look at the first one. So first one, as you can see, there's nothing there. And that's because the way the first tab works is um, if you specify areas of interest uh, before running, for analyzing, it'll tell you the probability of the user seeing that area of interest that you specified uh, 
uh, within that first clan's time period. Okay, but we didn't specify anything. We don't care. We just want to see how users will interpret this this, uh, this composition. So we'll just jump right into a heat map here. And so the heat map is very interesting because what it tells us is, um, so the hotter the, the area, the higher the likelihood, the higher the probability that the user will see that area. Okay. And the reason why this is so useful is because it can tell us, uh, so if they're, if they're in, in this case, for example, the headline and all this inf really informative text, this is the headline, the sub headline. Here's a, uh, here, I'll use this drawing tool. Here's a call to action right here, headline, sub headline. And what this is basically telling us is that, because all of these areas are blue, is that these, the, uh, the user may not even see these within that first glance time period, right? So, um, and what it is telling us is that they're gonna see a bunch of cupcake boxes, right? They're likely to see that. Uh, they're likely to see all of these uh, logos, it's kind of logo pattern going on here. And they may, may or may not see this link, okay? Uh, so very insightful. And then if we jump onto the uh, hotspots tab, so the hotspots is a simplified version of the heat map. And basically it's it's telling us the same thing, but this time we have a uh, an actual percentage. We're given a percentage, percent probability. So it's, it, there's an 88% chance that this is what they'll see, right? The box is maybe part of the text, I'm not sure. Uh, and the logos at the top here. And my personal favorite is the gaze sequence, okay? Because this tells us uh, the order in which users will uh, see the design, the elements on, in our composition. So 3M has found that um, within that first three to five seconds, we typically see, uh, we typically look at four things. We notice four things. That's what their research has found. Uh, and so you'll always see four, uh, four different steps in the gaze sequence tab. And in this case, basically what it's telling us is that the user sees a couple boxes, right? One, two, three, they see boxes and then they see a logo and they see nothing else. So there's no story told here. Um, the value offered by the, the business wasn't conveyed. Um, so yeah, this is very telling. Right. I mean, you can look at this design. It may not look great, but also even just functionally, um, it's not great. And this confirms it. Right. Last thing is the visual elements tab. And what this tells us is essentially so you can see it's broken down to combined edges, intensity, faces, blue, yellow, red, green. So it's telling us the degree to which um, our brain is drawn to each type of visual element. Right. And uh, so, yeah, this is, you know, it's kind of, you can see the heat map is all bunched up. There's no story really being told with this design. Um, and I really want you to uh, keep this one in mind as we jump into the after, which I will go ahead and analyze now. So we've gone ahead and analyzed the after. Uh, of course, uh, we didn't specify any areas of interest, so there's nothing here. Um, so we're going to jump right into the heat map and right away we can see that all of the uh, most important elements have a touch of red or orange in them um, which is what we want right you can see that the uh, likelihood that a, the user will see the headline is very high they'll see the visual the big old cupcake here the call to action has a touch of of orange the logo shopping cart so uh Elements, the elements are all very, um, the most important elements are all getting love, right? If we jump into the hotspots, we can see that very same thing, but with actual percentages. Um, so percent uh, chance of them seeing the headline and the call to action, which are very important, right? Is 85%, 85% visual 74, shopping art 61, logo 98. So, um, so far so good, right? Gay sequence, my favorite one. So this is, uh, so they see the logo first, they see the um, headline and maybe the call to action. I'm not sure if they're referring to both here. Second, uh, they see the visual third, 
and finally uh, they go back to the headline. So there's there's a story being told here. So they're, they we're giving them the value. So they um, we tell them what this is all about, right? Via the headline, uh, the uh, call to action tells them, okay, this is the next step that you can take. Uh, we allow them to visualize our product, right? And then they can go back and, and actually take action, right? Uh, so very cool, again, visual elements, um, pretty cool, but not uh, not as informative, in my opinion, as the gay sequence and uh, the heat map slash hotspots, right? Which, remember, hotspots is just a simplified version of the heat map. Um, so yeah, another thing that we can actually do is compare these side by side. So let's just quickly do that. Now we're going to go, uh, bam, bam, compare. Areas of interest, heat map. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. You can see, so we have them side by side here, and you can see that on the before, which is on the right, unfortunately. But uh, we can see that all of the important elements, a lot of the important elements are not um, are not hot. They're not red, right, or orange. And it's the red areas are sort of bunched up around one element here. So there's one just kind of main focal point and not much else will be noticed um and obviously it's a it's a uh, a different story uh, on this side uh hot spots obviously we're now we now get the percentages and we can compare the gay sequence as well um, which we've gone over and finally we can look at the originals so anyway i really encourage you guys to uh, check out vast by 3m super useful tool play around with it uh, i'm sure many of you are curious right now um, as to the how it'll interpret something that you've already created so definitely go play with it uh, link will be in the description uh, leave a comment like the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, i will see you guys next time peace